up guys? Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ TV. As you can see by today's title, let me turn this music down for copyright, hang on. As you can see today, we are gonna be testing deadlift one rep max. I put a poll out on my Instagram, kind of a poll, like a multi-choice questionnaire type thing. I was like, what do you guys wanna see? This is kind of what I'm thinking about filming tonight. Which one do you wanna see? And deadlift update was the highest rated by a long, 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 long way. And so, here we are. It was meant to be push day, but today is the day I have chance to film. This means my schedule has been changed around. This is what is so great about this routine that I've designed right now. It is interchangeable. Decided upon, decided upon? Dependent upon, that's the right word, right? What I'm going to be doing YouTube-wise, what I'm going to be doing with my friends, what I'm going to be doing when I'm training with the old man. I can train what I want, when I want, essentially, as long as I plan out my week. So we're starting off with the pool day, and we're starting off with deadlifts. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be super, super cool. Drop the video a like, people. And let's get started. I mean, the speed of that was fine, but I feel like the form and everything was horrendous, but it'll, uh, it'll do for now. We'll take a minute or so, up it slightly, and uh, see how we get on. So, the deadlift is actually something that I really, really, I'm not a fan of it. I really, really don't like it. Um, never have. I don't think I ever will, uh, but it's something that I want to progress because I want to compete one day and I want to have a fully well-rounded physique and not to say that you can't do that without deadlifting. In terms of the real lower back development, you can emphasize that a little bit with a deadlift. Now, again, not by doing modern rep maxes, by doing hypertrophy work, but I've been incorporating that. I was just kind of wondering where I was at. I wanted to make a video on it. You guys wanted to see it and that, at the end of the day, is what I'm here to do. I'm here to create the videos that you guys want to watch. If you don't want to watch the videos, there's no point in me making the videos. So I'm going to watch what you guys want to watch. I actually planned on training push today, but I've changed it around, you know, because I can. Now this workout plan that I am currently following, um, I have the power, like I just said, to actually interchange things, which makes it not only good for me, but good for a lot of you guys as well. So I'm interested to know, would you like to see it released. The program released. The program that I am following right now, I mean, besides what I'm doing today, I'm kind of straying away from it slightly for the video, but it's what it is, you know? The program that I'm following right now is the program that helped me achieve the 100 kg shoulder press. Enough said, okay? So it's what worked for me. Could it work for you? I don't know, I suppose we'll find out, won't we? So, we have 175 kilos on the bar. Um, this would be an all-time PR. I've never really, I've never gone this heavy. I've never even attempted this weight. Um, so it'd be pretty good. I'm honestly not feeling too great, um, but I figured, why the hell not try it for the sake of the video? If I fail, I fail, and I'll get it in a few weeks, but I figured, why the hell not try it? You gotta bear in mind that my body weight is about 175 pounds. Um, I use no lifting straps, no lifting belt, no lifting shoes. Nothing like that. Um, so this is, not even any chalk, this is raw. So, um, as raw as it gets, you know? So, I don't know, let's, uh, let's give it a go, see how we get on. shifting. I mean, it's hardly surprising. The other day I did 130 for sets of six. And so the fact that I've not even tried a one rep max to all of a sudden jump to it from six reps, getting used to doing six reps to doing one rep and it being like 40, 50 kilos heavier. I'm not surprised at all. I'm training in the evening. I I'm, feel like I'm stronger around midday. You know, I'm going to reel off a bunch of excuses, but 
it is what it is. I'm going to take the 2.5s off and make it 170, and then I think I think that will probably be where we're at for for today. Oh, I don't know. See, I've just watched that footage back, and you have you find yourself in this weird dilemma, right? You're like, well, actually, that moved really, really quickly. So I want to try 175, but I just failed 175 and took it down. So you've got to factor in like whether I just didn't warm up properly, whether I wasn't quite ready for it, whether my headspace wasn't in the right place. I, I don't know. But I'm going to try 175 again, because <laughs> why the hell not? If I don't get it, well, all I've done is equal my all-time PR, like, you know? <laughs> But fuck it, 175 kilos. Yeah, cool. What I've actually done today is, um, it's a bit weird. Like, it's almost been a bit backwards and it's not necessarily what I'd advise, but it's what's worked for me today. Like, in between those kind of one failed 175 attempts and stuff like that, I was essentially doing nothing. It's cold in the garage here. I mean, we've got the heaters on and stuff, but they only do a certain amount. And if you're just essentially stood around, because you shift a bar from here to here and then put it back down again, you're gonna get cold. And so what I actually did was strip the bar to 120, did a few reps, and then slapped it back on again, and then boom, I've actually managed to hit the 175, which is an all-time PR. I feel like I can go heavier, but I feel like it'd just be a bit silly to, do you know what I mean? Everyone wants to kind of hit the 180 club and all of that, so I feel like I could do that today, but I don't know. Tempted, but should I do it? Pause the video and let me know your thoughts right now. I keep looking at the bar like you guys are going to be able to tell me here and then, but this video will be edited and published by the time you know. Oh no, 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 no. That's just one step too far today. Sometimes you've got to accept defeat and uh, just move on. I didn't actually shift that one bit, I don't think. <laughs> so we will take that. 175 kilos is my deadlift one rep max as of right now. 175 kilos at 175 pounds. That's kind of weird. Anyway, my stubbornness wants to kind of carry on because I feel like I've got it in me and maybe if I went straight for it after the you know, the 170 felt good, I, I might have got it, but hey, we'll, we'll maybe get it next time, we'll join that 180 club. It won't necessarily be with the four plates that everybody seems to crave it with, you know, 420 plates, simply because we do not actually have that amount in the home gym, we've got 25s and 20s and stuff, we can make up the weight, but not in the typical bro lifting way. But hey, since when did I like doing anything the normal way? Never, let me tell you that. 
got a few funny stories to tell you about that actually. That's rain. <laughs> what the hell? It set my frigging car alarm off. Oh my. Oh my days. Oh, I was like, what the hell is that? And then I heard some beeping. I thought I'd check, it was my bloody car. Charlotte said there was a storm in Birmingham a couple of hours ago. We're obviously just getting it blown over now. Right, okay, apologies guys. Slight pause in play there. Um, I've honestly never experienced that in my entire life. Not with my own car anyway. Oh, hang on. I've got hail all over me brand new spanking camera so at the minute I have programmed in deadlifts on a back day it's a massive debate on social media whether you need to do it on back day or leg day it really at the end of the day doesn't matter you can kind of just do whichever you prefer or whichever works for you and I find that actually I quite enjoy squatting and I quite enjoy leg pressing and so that tends to dominate my leg days um, and I don't necessarily enjoy back days that much and so I may as well do something productive on a back day That's gonna make me start enjoying them You know if I get a little bit better at deadlifts I might start enjoying them a little bit more and that's a 175 kilo deadlift So that's not a lot to some I know there's gonna be people watching this at home going oh my god I know a kid that could do that when he was 15 my brother could do this and I can do a 245 kilos And I'm natural and this is like well congratulations well done you all I can do is be better than I was yesterday. Congratulations, you focus on you and I'll focus on me. I know that one day I'll be hitting that, those high numbers. Just not yet, you know? It's a marathon, not a sprint, people. Slow and steady wins the race. That's why I'm calling that a day there. I'm going to carry on with my pool session as per usual. Stick to the usual routine. That was just swinging away for the video, you know? So drop it a like because I changed up my routine, especially for you guys. Let's hit 50 likes on this video and carry on with a solid freaking session. <laughs> copyright again always worked on um, really really hard and I've just done 10 pull-ups at a higher body weight relatively easier there relatively easier relatively easy there now I'm a bit out of breath but that's how it should be when you finish your set I don't want to be doing them to absolute failure today but I don't want to be out of breath I feel like it was tough <sighs> things are going up guys things are improving looking forward to this next couple of months of training because, well, I don't know, I, I just am, I just am, I've got a good feeling, good feeling about YouTube, good feeling about Instagram, everything, everything that I'm doing, pieces are coming together, and it's going to be good. Hey, by the way, if you're new here, I love Rob Lipsit, right, I've followed Rob Lipsit since like 1k, he's now on like half a million, so it's fair to say I'm a Rob Lipsit OG, you know? He's only gone and copied one of my freaking ideas. He's made a best gym episode. Started turning it into a series. Who came up with that, huh? 
Now, I'm not saying I got the freaking copyrights for it or anything, but I like all of his videos, I comment on all of his videos. You know, if we walk past each other in the street, the chances are he'd probably know who I am. He recognises me because I've been like a super fanboy here at Body Power every year, he knows me. And so this is kind of a win-win for me, you see, because it's either he's seen my stuff, liked it, and copied it, or great minds think alike, and I'm on the right track, people. It's a win-win for me, you see what I mean? It's pretty, it seems stupid to all of you guys, I know, and I know there's people looking at the screen going, shut up, Liam, but it's kind of cool to me, because someone that I admire and look up to, you know, creating similar kind of content, whether he's seen mine or not, means that we're kind of same wavelength, you know? And that's key for progression, so it's a win win win. So one thing I've also been really enjoying, I'm just loving training lately, it's as simple as that. Wow, I'm really, really zoomed in. One thing I've also really been enjoying oh, is a dumbbell row. It's something that I started doing because I feel like it's a very basic movement that everyone starts doing. You know, you're leaning on a bench and you're rowing up and you pause and you pull it back down. Everyone kind of does it when they first start training. And so did I. But I haven't actually done it for a good year or so. I just haven't actually, well I just haven't. I've been doing other stuff instead. I've done a pendley row, done a bent over row with a barbell, done a row on a machine or something like that. I've been loving putting it back in lately. Just loving training. I can't put it anymore. That is the biggest and most important factor. It doesn't matter what anybody fucking says. If you are not enjoying the gym, you will not stick to it. If you do not stick to it, you will not see results. And so you've got to find the stuff that you enjoy doing. Yeah, you might have to do a bit of stuff that you don't like. I don't always want to do cardio, but I do it because it's good for you. Do you know what I mean? It would be stupid of me at this point in time not to. Do you know what I mean? Like I have it available to me. It's there in the garage. I'm gonna finish up the session, stick some YouTube on, and just pedal for a bit. Burn a few calories, get my heart rate up, you know? It's good for you. I really... I just can't explain it any better than I am really, really, really loving training right now. Everything I'm doing is just going well. It's almost a bit too good to be true, I'm waiting for it to cock up, but hey, positive mindset and that will never happen, you know? <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see this transform. Just saying. Best thing about this TV, right? I've never had this before. It literally has a YouTube button. What the hell's going on? It's not working. Hello. YouTube, please. Thank you. Da -da! And then literally, to finish off this session, a real nice. I'm just gonna sit here, maybe half hour or so. Got a couple of videos that I want to watch. Brandon Harding's uploaded. And then I'll just finish the day off. Love Island's on once that's finished. I'll probably leave this video to publish tomorrow. It's a good day. It's a good time to be alive. I just feel good. You get such good endorphins. Endorphins flowing through your body when you train. People wonder and ask me all the time why I love the gym so much. Because it makes me feel good. It, it's simple as that. I love the progression. I love the growth. I love making videos. And I combine all of those things into one with essentially what I'm doing right now. So. Let me know if you feel the same in the comments. Is it just me? Let me know if you feel. I feel like it's not going to be just me. I feel like lots of you at home will leave the gym and feel accomplished. You know, you feel like you've achieved something with your day. You've done something productive. Whether you get up first thing in the morning or you finish after work or you go on your lunch break or... I don't know. Let me know. Let's get a discussion going in the comments section. Um, right now, I'm just going to sit and enjoy a quick pedal for a half hour or so. And then it'll be dinner time. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think of the deadlift PR. Is that any good? Is it not? Can I do better? I can. I know I can do better, but you know what I mean. I hope you have enjoyed today's video, guys. If you have, 
please do me a favor really really helps out and you've been friggin smashing it lately let's keep this momentum going like it comment down below subscribe if you are new share it with a friend all that lot thank you so much for your support in 2020 let's make it our freaking year together we will grow and i will see you in the next one